Hey folks, happy Friday. I was in the habit of making a video every Friday and I fell out of that habit when I started working so much, so I'm trying to kick that off again. Tonight, a friend that I met here on YouTube is coming to my house. We'll be at that door. Um, he and his partner are coming here. You may know his channel. It is Steen, a Steen machine. Um, and tomorrow I'd like to make a video. So if you have any ideas for that, because I don't, please comment below. If you have a topic of conversation we could have, let me know and I will try to accommodate you. Um, for today's video, I just kind of wanted to share some thoughts that I have about how transness is misunderstood. And this is just my personal perspective um, based on my experience. So um, I am gonna try to talk without worrying so much about political correctness because I find it very stilting. Um, so, my family, and I should say my immediate family, I have never, I've been meaning to correct this. Uh, my mother and brother and sister are having a hard time accepting me as I am right now. But I have other family members who are supportive and loving. I have first cousins um, who have been amazing and um, so I'd like to give a shout out to Susan and Lisa I love you very much <laughs> and my Aunt Anne I would like to thank you for your support it's not my whole family um, but let me talk just a minute about how I think sometimes we are misunderstood many times culture looks at transness through the lens of morality or religion, and I just believe that's flat out wrong. Recently, 20 markers were discovered point, in our DNA pointing to transness. There have been studies, one out of Barcelona, one out of Harvard, that shows that our brains are, um, that match our uh, identified gender. Um, I've heard the argument that when we take hormones, we only get secondary characteristics that the change is only skin deep and that's just pure poppycock that's just not true um, when I inject testosterone it changes me on a cellular level an emotional level um, physically but from the inside out and these changes are deep and profound and I mean soul it's 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 in my soul um, so it, when I hear the argument that, um, and I hope this doesn't trigger anyone, but there are some silly people out there and they say things like, uh, that, you know, you can, you, I can say I'm a chicken. It doesn't make me a chicken. You know, that's the stupid argument that you hear so often. Um, I love dogs. Uh, I'll just say I'm a dog and I'll be a dog. Um, it's not even funny and it's just uh, ignorant. Um, I, this is what I am. This is who I am. This is, if you are looking at me now, you are looking at a person who is closer to themselves than they they've ever been, who is finally living a more holistic life, a life that is natural for me. Um, sometimes people need medication to be more of themselves. Sometimes people need hormones to be more of themselves. Um, I believe that when I was being formed, when I was an embryo, um, that it, my brain developed as male and the rest of me, most of the rest of me, did not get that signal. And so um, I also believe that the brain is the most important organ in the body and it creates who we are. Um, now, 
if, if people refuse to believe that it's biological, that it's in our DNA, that gender is first developed in the brain, um, if people don't believe that, if they believe that we are insane, um, that our thoughts about gender are crazy, if they believe that, um, then, and they believe that, and they see that by taking hormones, we become aligned with ourselves, feel better, uh, are not suicidal anymore, our emotions balance, we find happiness, all these things that are positive, and they still don't think that that's the healthiest choice for us, I don't know what to say to that. Um, a friend of mine recommended a book, and in the prelude, there's a quote, and I'm, I'm, I'll put it below, because um, I can't remember it exactly, but I just want to share a little bit about that quote. The, the quote is from a soldier, and he's talking about when people say, I can't imagine what you've been through, it hurts him, because that's what compassion is. He wants you to try, try to imagine. And I think about that quote so often. Um, it's called empathy, putting yourself in someone else's place. So imagine for a moment, imagine that from the inside, you are another gender, and you live your life with that, for me, horrific reality. And then one day, you can become yourself, you can be aligned, you can be who you've always known yourself to be. Um, why wouldn't you do that? And why would anybody want to stand in someone else's way? Um, anyway. I think that's that's enough for today. Um, I'm getting close to eight minutes here, and I don't want to bore you or rattle on. Um, but what do you think about that? And oh, there's another thing, too. Um, sometimes I hesitate to talk about the science around transness. One, because I don't know a lot, and neither does anyone else. But... Two, because we really shouldn't have to. We shouldn't have to justify our existence. I think, unfortunately, we need to use whatever we have at our disposal to, um, to help people understand us. So um, these are just some thoughts on, on that. And um, I'd be interested to hear what you think about that. Okay. Bye-bye.